Hello, I'm John Stewart, Chief Security Officer, Cisco Systems. And in talking about data leakage in this series, one of the things that we oftentimes are asked at Cisco is, what is it and why is it suddenly becoming such a big topic? And I've got a couple of thoughts in this regard. Uh, the first is we have a criminal element that's stealing information for money, and it's being monetized at a rapid rate. The second is that we've got mandatory disclosure. We've got more companies having to acknowledge by rule of law the fact that information had left their control. And the third reason is, is because we're being touched personally because uh, over a quarter billion, for example, personal records have been lost. And so all of us as individuals have probably experienced it in their day-to-day -day life. So if you think about that as the backdrop for security thought leadership series and, and why we focused on data leakage, the next thing we focused on was around globalization. And in globalization, the surveys absolutely told us and the results indicated that data leakage happens everywhere. It's happening in Germany, it's happening in the US, it's happening in Japan, but it's happening for different reasons. And what we wanted to do is get to the genesis of why. Why is it that people and individual employees will take the steps that they do because what we think we can learn from this, and hopefully you will as well, is that you can tailor local education programs. And that's part of what you would call the sort of people process technology. And in the people side, you can use the survey results, and we did, to look at key messages and key themes that will be different. So in the United States, we employ a very different education program than we did in Germany. And a very different program is in India, a different one in China, and a different one in Brazil. And, and that sort of sums up how you can use some of the results in order to approach the education program. The second part is process. And in process, one of the things you've got to do, and, and we've got to do, is make sure that we approach policy as light touch. For example, we oftentimes wonder, do we just put down three pieces of policy? Do no harm, make sure and be accountable for your actions, and ignorance is not an excuse. In many respects, that's what users need to be told and employees need to be told. Because if not, one of the things we're discovering is you will find that you're putting policy, in fact, directly opposite to what people have to do in their day-to-day -day jobs. So they'll break a security policy to do their job. That's not where you want people. You don't want your employee base actually trying to figure out the difference between which rule to break. Do they tell their manager they can't, or do they tell the, uh, the security team that they had to? And in the end, data leakage, when it boils right down to it, is about teaching people the responsibilities they have, especially as new technologies like collaboration technologies come out, and approaching them and teaching them that their data and our data and your corporate data should be treated equally. So that ultimately, each one of us will take the responsibility and lower the chances. Thank you very much for today.